Okay, so hello and welcome back to another episode where I am talking about Linux as a noob. And so, if you remember, I installed Arch Linux and I recorded the whole process. And well, if you followed me, then there is some mistake I made there where I, well, it's not a mistake really, it's just not following the guidelines of Arch Linux. So, everyone should know the uh, ArchWiki page, which basically is the source of all information you should need for installing, maintaining uh, your Arch system. So, we have the, on the main page some information about the distribution, uh, some frequently asked questions comparing to other distributions of Linux, and there is the installation guide that you should definitely read and follow while installing your Arch Linux system, whether you are using other sources too, this is the official guide and this is what you should be doing or other sources like my video or other people's videos should only serve as some kind of clarification if you don't understand something. And of course, read up more on the wiki if you don't understand something. And the general recommendations is what basically contains a loose set of things that you should set up on your system or how it is uh, suggested that you set up on your system if you want it to run smoothly and want to minimize the problems that you can run into. And the list of applications is something we already talked about last video or two videos ago or whenever. No, last video probably. So, general recommendations, and what I want to talk about here, what I did not do well, is the system administration part, especially users and groups. So, of course, when you install the system, you use the root account, the super user root account for the installation process, which is fine and dandy, and then you create a new user, and that is the user that you are going to use your system, so you are not supposed to log in as a super user. A lot of cases the uh, graphical environments doesn't even let you do that. So let's just jump to this link about users and groups. So this very nice article will tell you a lot of things about how the Linux um, permissions and, and uh, ownership works and uh, describes it to you and describes it how Arch Linux implements this, what kind of uh, files it uses to store the user and group information, etc. So this is the user add is the command which we use and which we used also in the installation procedure to create our user with the dash m to create a home directory and dash g to use additional groups. You can uh, use other uh, shell than the bash shell if you specify dash s. This is what, something I didn't do and I it's, it's not important, you are probably, if you are a newbie, you are going to use bash. And a lot of, uh, well, pros also use bash, but there are also other options and you can choose other options too. Okay, what we did when we created the nice micro account, we used the switch of, uh, so this is a user add, I just type in user add and it will just list out all possible options. So I also used this uh, g, the uh, lowercase g, to name the primary group of the new account. And so if I just type in groups, nice micro, then you can see that I am a member of the users group and the power and the wheel and the storage. So I added myself to the users group as my uh, primary group. And if I just uh, go to slash home and I list my stuff, you can see that my home directory, the nice micro directory slash home slash nice micro directory is owned by nice micro user and the group users. And so the general recommendation on Arch is to not use this dash uh, lowercase g when we are creating a new user, which means that if an initial group is specified by name or number, it must refer to already existing group. If not specified, 
the behavior of user ed will depend on this variable and the default variable is to create a group with the same name as the username. So we are going to do this example of adding a new user to our system. So this is so these things, so who is your default group and etc. It's not a problem if you only have one one user and that's you on your computer. So but let's say we have Archie too. So we will have to escalate our privilege to become super user. And I can become a super user with the sudo command, if you remember, because I added the we myself to the wheel group and I added the wheel group to be able to run any command using the sudo prefix as the super user. <laughs> so I can add the new user by sudo user add. And I will dash m because I want to create a home directory for that user and I will call this user Archie. So I type in my password and now if I ls-l you can see that we have Archie has his directory called Archie and nice micro has his directory nice micro and you can see the difference here. So let's see groups Archie Archie is only in the group Archie. So what if I want, so maybe I want to do some projects where both all the users of the computer can access some files like, you know, maybe an external hard drive where we can put our, like a, something or maybe another partition or maybe just, you know, just some folder somewhere. And I want both users to be able to use that as members of the users group so I can sudo user mod dash u and how does dash u works let's see here um, create a group with the same name as the u oh, no, I need dash g I, for some reason I always want to use it yeah so dash g groups list of supplementary groups of new accounts so supplementary group will be users for archie let's see now groups archie so archie is part of the users group and the archie group so now i want my main account so my nice micro because now if we have this common area maybe on the common area i want the files that i create by myself to be owned by, so when I create a new file there, it will be owned by Nice Micro and the users group. But maybe it's not good because mostly I want that my files are only owned by me by default, and I want that I have to set up explicitly those files to belong to the user group when I create them. So I maybe I create them and they should be part of the Nice Micro group. That's what I'm trying to say if the file is created so they automatically that would should be the situation that it belongs to nice micro and the nice micro group but i don't have a nice micro group yet so i have to group add nice micro and now i can uh, user mod dash g uh, nice micro group to the nice micro user and now if I say groups nice micro then you can see that we are in power wheel storage and the main group is nice micro but I want to add an additional group to myself how do I do that so let's go back to the user mode Command, what does it suggest? It suggests that new list of supplementary groups is the capital G, and there is this dash A append. Append the user to the supplemental groups mentioned by the dash G option without removing the user from other groups. So if I would just say that uh, user mod dash G users nice micro, then I would be removed from all these. 
a power wheel and storage groups and just be in the dash g ah, just be in the group users so i don't want that so i add user mode dash lowercase a dash capital g users nice micro and now you can see i'm in power i'm in a wheel i'm in storage i'm in users and my main group is nice micro so now let's list uh, our home directory you can see that this command changed my home directory to belong to the nice micro group so basically it did everything that it should for my home directory it doesn't really matter because in my home directory only the owner user has any um, access and the owner group has no access and no, no one else has any access to my home directory i could change that so but it doesn't really matter it, it matters more on like not in the home directory but other places where you are putting files with other users so you can you know own parts of the folders like you, other people cannot override your folders and uh, well we will be talking about these things another time i just wanted this video to be about how to add the new user and what are the uh, recommendations by the arch wiki for you to follow if you are to you know uh, use your computer share it with others and make other uh, users and other groups for these other people and of course that concludes this presentation so i hope to see you next time some other time and uh well farewell i guess